Strikers. Tell all you archaeologists, I'm the John Strike. I'm having tales of bizarre adventure. We will watch this at some point again. But I will mute it and I'll add the sound in post. Which I haven't done. Oh, it seems there's a costume there as well. <laughs> Never even considered. Tales of Bazaria, that's the game I'm playing. Cool. Um, let's. It, it's quite late. I probably shouldn't have started this this late, but. I was awake. And it doesn't have to be a full two hour stream. The last one wasn't. Uh, so, yeah. Couple of quickies might be nice. It's just some some volcano, isn't it? Scout ship setting sail. Where are we going? Here's our ship. What is our quest? Catania. Oh, hang on. No, we couldn't get there before. But in Cado. We might want to go to Kado first, then. Uh, doesn't look like we can get on the ship. Beardsley. Hmm. A little confused. <laughs> Not here then. Well, it won't take us long to figure out where to go. Have his bubbles. Maybe he'll let us go there now. Dude says no. see anything out of the ordinary let's slip through town and head for titania before that changes oh I'm not sticking about so this is your secret hideout once I get free, he won't stand a chance. You all had better sleep with one eye open. Look how worried I am. Welcome back! That's Kamoana. <sighs> She's the same age as Diana. Of course she is. Did the Abbey really turn someone so young into a Therian? Would you be able to talk to her? Is this a trick? Kamoana may be a Therian, but deep down, she's still a normal little girl who misses her mother. This is all very convenient. I can't do anything to console her, no matter what I try. But if it were you... You okay? 
You can call me Medissa, all right? Do I scare you, honey? A little, but not as much as Velvet and Dial. But don't you think I'm scary? I had a bad dream earlier. My mommy said I looked scary and that she... She didn't want me anymore. She would never... Your mother would never think that about her daughter. But how do you know? Because I'm... I'm a mother too. Mothers always mother! to me, no, matter what, no matter if we die, no matter how the world changes. Oh, if that was nobody, if only that were true. More in the world than, than. But obviously, I wouldn't say that to a small child. But um. It's okay. You don't have to cry. I hope Kamawana and Medissa won't have to feel so lonely anymore. Yeah, trying to stop the waterworks gets old fast. Listen, if it's not too personal, was your mother, uh... She's dead. I lost her when I was even younger than you. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's fine. It just means we've got things in common. So no feeling sad and alone, okay? Oh no, I'm fine. I don't feel lonely or anything, I swear. What's gotten into you? You're so strange sometimes. N no, I'm not. Eleanor, I'll have you watch over Kamoana and Medissa. Yes, of course. I'd be honored. Thank you. Are exorcists supposed to be so polite to a grand pooba of calamity or whatever? Sh sure, why not? Besides, the Demon Lord ought to not trouble herself over such trivialities. Velvet, Grimoire's calling for you. She says to bring Lafayette and meet her at the observation tower. Got it. We better get going then. After I save my game. We have an observation tower. Hmm. Is there anything else? We're gonna run out of fashion stuff. Pretty soon. Uh, no, I don't want any of this summer break stuff and all the school day stuff there. That's just plainly. Uh, also, the idle, not the idle. What's the fairy tale stuff? Why is there only like th two of them? Okay, now it looks like we've basically run out at this point. I mean, it'd be good for the haircuts, but that's it. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Uh, we'll take the fairy tale stuff though. I mean, I know they've got haircuts as well, but uh, and no, an idol. The only three of them get the idol stuff as well. Okay, polka dot bunny ears doesn't. Oh. Well, this. Why are the angel wings separate? Hmm. It won't change yet, but did I say it again? One thing I will do though. Change it to Rapig. Hey, do you all have mothers? <laughs> Where'd that question come from? Well, after hearing that Velvet, Kamawana, and Eleanor all lost their parents, 
I just got curious. Is it just like an anime was thing? A strict, frightening woman, but she died a long time ago. I see. I have no parents either. But the wicked witch who took me in said I was born from a peach that floated down the river. Coming from you, I'd almost believe that. A and you, Aizen? We Malakim are formed from untainted mana. Sometimes humans are reborn as Malakim, but they retain no memory of their previous lives. In other words, we don't have blood relations like humans do. I see. By the time I was aware of anything around me, I was already tethered in being called number two. I suppose having no mother means I don't have any memories before that. I told Medissa that losing a mother is painful, but I can't know how painful it is. Go easy on him, Aizen. He's just a kid. I'm just telling it like it is. But listen to me, Laf, he said. That was nice of her. She's a bit out of character. People, even if you don't have a biological family, Malakim too can form precious bonds. True friendships, even family. That's right. Your words wouldn't have stopped Medissa if they weren't true in your heart. You really think so? I'm sure of it. It's far better than being a witch born from a peach. Nonsense! There's no nobler way to be born! I have an everlasting friendship with a dog, a monkey, a pheasant, and Bienfu. I hope he's right. Uh, I assume that's a reference to something. Um... <laughs> Just do this bit. This place is like needlessly confusing. I know it's a dungeon that we've repurposed, but you couldn't have like changed it so it didn't look like that anymore. I don't know. I'm going to the wrong place again, aren't I? this room. Yeah, I, I, there's, I, there's two rooms and I can never remember which one's which. At least we get to ride the pig. Maybe that's one of the friends she made, Magaloo made. Hmm. <laughs> He's like, that is a wall in the way. How do you expect to go forwards? Oh, I know. You need to throw up a symbol. I don't know which way is forwards and which way is backwards. As evidenced by me going the wrong way. Ugh, I just don't know where the tower is. I never remember where the fucking tower is. It's the universe telling me I shouldn't have stayed up late. Is it through one of these doors? Nope. 
Nope. Every time, every time I go through this, you'd think I'd remember, you know, considering it's such an ordeal every time. But I don't. Malakim can have familial ties, but what makes you and your sister siblings if you're not related by blood? Well, a very long time ago, I was born into this world from an Earth Pulse point up on a sacred mountain. I remained in that place for a long while, and then one day, she was born from the very same Earth Pulse point. Before we knew it, we had wound up living together under the same roof. Are two Malakim always siblings if they come from the same Earth Pulse point? No. Other Malakim were born there, but I never felt like they were my family. But something, and I don't know what, was different with her. If she was sad, I'd feel sad. And if I was happy, she'd be happy too. She can be abrasive, but when she smiles, it's like nothing else. I swore to myself that whatever happened, I would protect her. I made a pendant from a stone on that sacred mountain and gave it to her as a lucky charm. Of course, she just wears it as a necklace. And your pendant? Did she give that to you? She had the same idea I had. She made the pendant herself and gave it to me as a good luck charm. Without either of us having mentioned a word of it beforehand, we each gave each other pendants in the same shape on the very same day. That's when I really knew that what I had felt all along was true. We were brother and sister. Is that her in the picture? Yeah. It's a self-portrait she drew for me on the day I left home. Did you draw her a picture of yourself? No. I don't exactly have an artistic side. Well, I'm sure that if you looked inside her pendant, you'd find a portrait of the person who matters most to her. I hope so. Yeah, and it would be nice if it was you. Wonder what the outfit's gonna be. No, I like. I can make exceptions for Maggie Lou because it's Maggie Lou, but no, I'm not running around. I guess this is silly. What's Japan clothes? Somewhere, yeah, but he gets to wear clothes for his summer wear ones. And the finishing rod. I like these ones. This is still fan service -y, but it doesn't look as silly as uh, that. It's 
so no, I think not. But do we have new hair? Yeah, we do. We have this. No, um, that. Which is also a no. Fuck the hair. Uh. Ah, there you two are. Hi, teacher. Have you made progress deciphering the book? I have indeed. It turns out there was a second counting song. And I've an, an accounting song. Would you read it aloud for us, child? Okay. Um, when the eight malevolences overflow, in the culmination of mankind's despair, and Nomenot will bring an end to all peoples and restore them to time immemorial. Four Empyreans shall wield a wrathful sword and cleave the great devourer, two asunder to sleep beneath the earth as scarlet moonlight illuminates the evil. The nameless Empyrean hath one heart, the nameless Empyrean hath one body. Oh, yet more delightful material to keep us awake at night. If I'm understanding this right, it's discussing the specific nature of Inominat? That's what I believe, yes. When the eight malevolences overflow in the culmination of mankind's despair, Inominat will bring an end to all peoples. So, when the world is at peak malevolence, Inominat will use that power to bring an end to all. Are we the goodies? It? He's going to wipe out all of humanity? Is that what the Abbey is after? Is that why they've been trying to bring back Inominat? No. Artorius is not that kind of man. His two primary ideals are the many over one, and the restoration of order through will and reason. He sacrificed Luffy to protect this world, not to eradicate it. You mean that's who he is as far as you know, yeah? People change, Velvet. Perhaps the Shepherd gave up hope. Maybe he lost faith in mankind. Fools prone to sin, endlessly generating malevolence. He's not like that. If that's all true, then what point was there in Luffy's death? Well, there Is there no anything point. else in that book? Yes and no. This copy itself is... Well, I'm pretty sure he secretly pages, is good. And For now, I've done this is all, all like a long gone back uh, gambit there must to be set no Velvet up to kill Inominat. Right. Without it, I doubt the Abbey would be plotting Inominat's revival. Something to sure like that. complete understanding of their Empyrean's nature. But this was the only copy in the royal villa. If the original is out there, who knows where it could be? <sighs> it's getting pretty late. Why don't we call it a day? Yeah, let's get some rest. Bonk. It's always bows. Uh, where, what are we doing? Earth Pulse. Ah, let's go do that then. Or side quest. Hey, Lavi said, Medessa let me sleep in her bed last night. She's warm for a snake lady. That's great. She's gonna help me take a bath now. You should come join us too. What? Uh, I couldn't. It's okay, I don't mind at all. Um, I... Hey, Kamoana, did you know? Dial started to grow a brand new tail. Wow, really? I want to see? He's up at the observation tower. Let's go see! Modesta, you too! Uh, all right, but don't run or you'll trip. Hmm, hang on, a couple of tiny hats are missing. <sighs> Thanks, Eleanor. I appreciate it. <laughs> Having some girl trouble, my little Malik? I'm just glad Kamawana and Medissa are starting to feel better. Yeah, they both still have a long way to go, but it's such a relief to see them smiling. We've got bigger things to worry about. Hurry up and locate the next Earth Pulse point. Right. Okay. Must you always be so blunt, Velvet? 
I must, in fact. We're up against the Abbey here, and sooner or later they'll find this place. That's true, but still... Do we go find another hideout? No, we'll keep on the offensive. We'll capture the remaining Therians before the Abbey finds us. Smack is vibing there. I can respect that much. Ooh, hello, Screams. I'm not so sure we could hold this place anyway. And we've got no obligation to. I found another Earth Pulse point. It's in the eastern part of East Gand, I think. That's very east. But that's so east. I know. All right, we're headed for East Gand. You leave that bird alone, Bianfu. Be right. Uh, sorry, a couple of people are missing tiny hats. Uh, also, um, no, not the hair. Yeah, we'll go back to the blue hat. Hang on, do we have a blue? No, we are not wearing the blue bow. This is a blob. Yeah, sure, why not? We're not done yet. <gasps> More bangs for, you, for my buck. Hang on. Is it possible to have two eye patches? Can have a tiny hat. Oh, because I couldn't afford the tiny hat. Uh, what's an hour? No, it's the sword, isn't it? Okay. Do you like the flower? Um, but also, but the flower clearly is not a tiny hat. No, we'll keep the flower. It's fine. What does he have to use the sword for that one? Seems a little out of character. Uh, we'll keep it that for the time being. Where's your tiny hat? Um, oh yeah, the quiver. You know what? We don't need... Why does she get bunny ears? What the hell did I get to get bunny ears? Tiny hat. Oh. We do have mini crew now. That that certainly is an ostentatious ribbon. I'll give him that. Doesn't quite work. Right. <gasps> Smack you, Lou. Ah, oh, I have to change the hair. Fair enough, that works. Doesn't really clothe the clothing anymore, though. Kind of does go with that. Ah. Also goes with that. Hair doesn't go with that costume. Uh, John, it's not important, it's just clothing. That seems to have character. 
It's fine. It's just a hat. Just it's it's fine. Hmm. No, that's a bit much. Uh, I mean, I do actually think the hat goes really well with it, but that's not a point. I'm doing that one. Um. Okay. This outfit. It's got the red that reinforces it. You can keep the flower, which is nice. Um, right. When mankind's despair reaches its pinnacle, Inomi not shall reach out and bring an end to all. So that song bothers you too? No matter how many times I read it, I don't see any good in it. Understanding that ancient tongue is difficult, right? Perhaps there's another interpretation? Maybe the end to all actually means an end to all human suffering, for example. That is a possibility. But we're far too lacking in material to know anything for sure. We need the other half of that book. Or some other text on the Nominat. We don't have the time to search for it. Wouldn't even know where to start looking. And don't forget that that book is just a copy. Whoever transcribed it might have made an error, too. That's oh. an unexpectedly... Worst guy I know just made a good point. I'm an expert at errors. When Miss Magilu made me copy magic tomes for her, I did it pretty half-heartedly. Didn't that cause a lot of problems? Well, when she tried to cast a spell from one of the tomes, the spell exploded in her face. It's really her own fault, though. She told me to copy 100 books in three days! That's impossible! Oh, how cruel! Cruel is right! That witch is a real devil, I tell you! A slave driver! Bien Fu? Let's go somewhere a little more private, shall we? <laughs> Miss Mogilu! Hush now. There's no need to worry. I'll make it a half-hearted punishment. <laughs> Yes. Grimoire always looks like she never wants to do any work, but despite all her grumbling, when she starts a job, she gets it done. And quickly, too. She's frank, but she still takes care not to say anything to hurt anyone's feelings. I have to say, I, I like that in a woman. It's charming. Well, sorry if I'm inconsiderate and charmless then. I, I didn't mean it like that. You're all still so young and have led different lives. Can't fault you for being you. Well, if you're saying we lack a certain air of maturity, I might not 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 disagree. That's for sure. It's true Lord Artorius has scolded my lack of composure at times. Why do you care what he well, thinks? I do get the impression that Grimoire has been dependable like that since she was young. And it's a good impression at that. Old Grim's been that way since the day she was born. I hate to admit it, but her combination of insightful words and deadpan expression has charmed the hearts of many a Moloch. At her peak, she had a fan club 8,848 members strong, and her dinner shows would sell out the day the tickets went on sale. Malakim came by the droves to doze off listening to her live readings of ancient books. Wow! I had no idea she was so popular. Yeah, she's even a regular feature in Who's Who Among Norman. Now that I think about it, I could see how a person could interpret her lethargy as patience and her vague dispassion as maturity and poise. Compared to her, I'm just... <sighs> Were you just trying to imitate her? <sighs> no, I didn't mean to. Whether you meant to or not, that kind of felt like her just now. I can see it in you waiting to be awakened, that sophisticated charm. Me? Sophisticated and charming? I don't know. Try talking like her. You know how she lets her sentences trail off. This is your make-or-break moment here. Uh... All right. I think I know what you mean. Here goes nothing. Oh. What do you think, Laffy said? Do I sound like her? It feels a little off, but you're definitely doing it. I think. Aw, <sighs> oh, you don't have to grow up, Madame Eleanor. You're cute just the way you are. Uh, you stay out of this, Bianfu! Right, where's my trophy? I need to give this the award for the most definite conversation that a real life people would totally definitely have award for 
Can't realistic human conversations. Around here somewhere. Not that I really care, but who ended up winning the fishing competition when we were trying to catch a Therian? Man, that was a while ago. I lost because I came away with nothing. No, it was a draw. As I'm sure everyone remembers, all I fished up were octopus demons. We were competing over who would catch the Therian. Demons didn't count, so my score was 0-2. No, the loss is mine, and I'm not giving it to you. That's not just something you can up and decide like that. In fact, by fishing up those octopus demons, I put everyone in danger. That should count for negative points. I lost. Who cares? It was all in fun. I care. Every competition must have a winner and a loser, no matter what. That's just how I see it. Yeah, I'm with Eisen on this one. It doesn't do anyone any good to make the final results murky. I can't believe I'm going to do this. Eisen, your curse would mean that the odds were stacked against you from the start. That doesn't make for a fair competition, does it? Yeah, she's got a good point. We'll just have to settle the score some other way. What can you guys do? Play cards? Chess? What? Coin. Cards are a no-go for me. I'll just end up drawing jokers. And I can play shogi, but I don't know chess. Take the jokers well, out. What about arm wrestling? Would that work? Oh, whoa! Having a demon and a Moloch clasp hands is just asking for trouble with malevolence. You're both adults, so why not a drinking contest? That's it! If we have a drinking contest, we'll be able to compete on an even playing field. Yeah. I don't see anything wrong with that. I'll have the crew bring out the drinks. Well, that's one way of resolving it, I suppose. Whatever gets it done, I'm not gonna complain. If you guys are gonna have a drinking contest, you're gonna need some tasty snacks to go with all that alcohol, right? Definitely. Let's go out and fish us some snacks. Yeah, let's take out the little boat. We can even pick up where we left off our fishing competition. Didn't we just figure out he can't really fish? Ugh, we were just about to finally resolve this mess. Why'd you have to go and stick your nose into it? What? Why are you yelling at me? I didn't do anything wrong! <laughs> okay, we are done. We are done with conversations. Okay, we're not done. There are two more conversations. But we're almost done. Hey, get this. I was out fishing the other day, when before I knew it, I'd wound up near a Class 4 island. Once I realized what was happening, I tried to turn the ship around, but then it got dark all around me. Was it a sudden storm? I wish! It was this great monstrous bird! Damn thing had wings big enough to cover up the whole blasted sky! That sounds like a bit of a stretch to me. You think I'm lying? Then check it out for yourself! It just might not make it back alive. A huge bird. Hmm. Why did he... Why Why was that all voiced as if he was doing a comedy bit? I was going somewhere with my wife one day, and I said to my wife, what's that mountain? And she says, a punch... I don't... Like, I... I don't actually have a punchline to that joke, obviously, because I just made it up. But, like, that's what it sounded... It sounded very much like that... That set up. This island's really something. No way I'd want to go to prison here, but it'd make a great hideout. If I'm gonna be left in charge of this place, I'll turn it into the best hideout ever. You're in charge? Someone has to look after this place while you're all running around. Maintaining the ships in the base, watching the prince and Medissa, keeping Kamuana company. I'll keep this place running ship shape so that you all can focus on looking for the Therians. But those are just odd jobs anyone can do. You're a navigator. Isn't that a waste of your talents? You dolt! These are important tasks! Someone's gotta do it! We were just complaining about, about your tasks earlier. Anyone besides me that could handle all of this by themselves? Besides, ever since I lost my tail, my balance has been off. The seasickness is killing me! That's your story and you're sticking to it? Tell the truth. You don't want to come because you're afraid you'll be hurt again. Uh, no, that's not it at all. <laughs> yeah, we cut it off when we first met him. Um, you could set up internet for us. Get get some dial up. We had to 
he was harassing a town. We got his tail as proof that we killed him. Uh, where are we going? East Gand. Uh, I'd really like to see the quests. I believe there's a quest here, so I'm just going to go here. There it is, I think. Save our game just in case. Did I do this before but not save it? Oh yeah, uh, we, we have big now. It's the only way to travel, or so I'm told. Where's the... Next weekend is Bunny Bonanza Saturday. <gasps> it is a bunny. bunny. Bonanza Saturday? What's that? I've heard of this. You eat a hearty, healthy meal of rabbit meat to help you get nice no. and strong. No! You eat rabbits? No, silly! The night of the third Saturday of every month, lonely people go to sleep hugging a rabbit. Huh. If you go to sleep with a fuzzy friend in your arms, you're sure to have good dreams. No, I'm sure I heard that you eat them too. You must be thinking of Rat Pig Roundup Saturday. <gasps> There's a Saturday for Rat Pigs too? Yep. On the night of the third Saturday of every month, people who aren't lonely eat rat pigs to get nice and strong. Makes sense. Rat pigs are great sources of nutrition. An amazing choice for anyone, lonely or not. The secret to a happy family is Rat Pig Roundup Saturday. That's what I always say. <laughs> I feel bad for the rat pigs. It's really... So that... The voice actor there is... I know that person from a completely different game. Like... This side character is not important. He's like the most important character to a completely different game. Um, I have, like that must happen quite often, but it's still really weird. Uh, that was not all. Did I accidentally do the wrong conversation? This is the rap pig. Boil oysters in the cloisters. Oh, got another letter for you, Eisen. Okay. Maybe it's from your sister this time. You want to read it? Me? Uh... Please, allow me. Now then. Your cruelty knows no bounds. You bring deep sadness to a fair maiden's heart with each passing day. Repent or else I'll be forced to intervene. This is your final warning. And that's it. Wow, this person sounds really mad. Aizen, what did you go and do to make the fair maiden cry? I don't know, but I could try a couple things on you. Ooh, excuse me if I forget to be scared. The letter mentions a fair maiden. Do you think it refers to your sister? I mean, with his bad luck, it'd be an unfair maiden. Oh, you could be onto something. She must be lonely so far away from her brother. That's not how she it would... like she's pretty fond of you. Hmm. Are you suggesting that Aizen's sister wrote these letters? I mean, they're certainly unusual, but... My sister wouldn't write something yeah, like, like this. No. Then maybe it's someone who's spending a lot of time around her. Like, oh, a man whose shoulder she cries on. Damnation, Magilu! My sister doesn't have any guy clinging onto her! Do you know something I don't? Prove it! Bring him here, right now! Calm down, Aizen. No one's saying that. But if you're really that worried... Why don't you go see her? <sighs> Have you not done that since you left? I did go back once a long time ago. But as soon as I showed up, a crowd started to gather. While that was a silly silly reason to explode, uh, I'm genuinely surprised it's the first time somebody has shouted at Magalu. What do you think? I'd moved us to a safe place. Low in malevolence and high up a rugged mountainside. So much for coincidence. I haven't gone back to see her since. Changing topics. I know I said these Nordals were a little off, but I think I'm starting to see that as part of their appeal. Huh? My point is, no matter how odd it might be, 
Any gift could make a girl happy if it's given from the heart. Huh. <laughs> Sorry. You can't have one. I didn't see what the Nordor looked like. I should have looked. Uh, where's the next one? Uh, we don't have an access to that right now. Right, then we, uh... To East Kent! I mean... I understand why you can't put this in a computer game, but it would be kind of funny for somebody to just go, you know what, Magaloo? Just fuck off, all right? Like, just like, like I understand like that's an, a conversation ender and that would be incredibly rude. And you know, you can't, that's not a rippy, witty back and forth, but it is how an actual person might react to somebody being incredibly sarcastic to them for like, um, well, the, the, the entire time they've known them. Oh, my words are on the wrong side. Uh, your words are on the wrong side. My words, uh, they're doing great. Um, also, oh yeah, because it's all set up the wrong way. Okay, fair. I've wrangled them. Uh, there we go. Tailspin docks. <laughs> it's sour. So you've kept your sense of taste. In my dreams, I have. Nowhere else. Does that make this a dream? It would have to be, wouldn't it? After all... I devoured you. That's right. Don't you go forgetting it. How could I ever forget it? The taste of your... <laughs> Brains! How could I ever? <gasps> Looks like the fog's rolling in. Yep. Eleanor, there's something I want to be sure we get perfectly clear. Um, all right. What is it? Luffy said is not your little Moloch. What? That's all you wanted to say? You realize he doesn't belong to you either, right? Indeed I do. Luffy sets his own person, and not anyone else's. Y you're right. Malakim aren't just tools to be used by exorcists as they pleased. I'll be more careful not to forget that. Good, as long as we're on the same page. <laughs> Since we're on the subject of reminders, you haven't forgotten our little bet, have you, Velvet? You mean the 100 gold on whether I'd break? No. I haven't forgotten. A word of caution. People can fight against pain, but they can't fight against happiness. If you're keen on winning our bet, I'd steer clear of ill-fitting dreams. Sorry to break it to you, but all I have anymore are nightmares. The fog's cleared. Good thing we didn't wind up getting lost in it. Of course we didn't. Who do you think is running this ship? A bunch of shameless rogues who are very good at shameless roguery. Damn straight. But it's strange. These waters don't usually see much fog. Right. Uh, I almost... Because uh, I decided... I oh, Hang on. I unlocked the fairy tale costume and I was like... No, I'm not running around as Alice, whatever that is. But damn it, I could have had Alice the apple. Uh, I I regret nothing. I uh, cat, feed, give the cat with the fish. Pet the cat. Okay. Boop. Around forever. Come on. Come on. You can never have 
Ratchet and Bloom 2. That's just the same game I always play. Okay. Have I already unlocked everything? Oh, hang on. No, there were caps. She, she put Ainu gears. Black sunglasses. What's battle music card? No, I've already bought one. Oh, Exorcist uniform. Okay, the, no, there's, there's things. Okay, there's things to buy. Although the Exorcist uniforms, if, it, if it's like... Uh, it might be awful, but I want it. Here I come. This is the next 20 minutes. Ah. Okay, I need to be a little bit more efficient. I felt like that was really good. I didn't mean to quit. I have efficient enough moves. Uh, Here I come. Out of my way. Next. Out of my way. Out of my way. Out of my way. able to cancel out that second really? kick. Because that could scarcely be more efficient. Really? Bloody boot. Oh, I actually got loads. Um, Exorcist uniform. I know we, we, we've not been wearing this for very long, but I want to see it anyway. Where's my Exorcist uniform? That was my battle music album. Where's my ex... Hang on. Who did I buy that for? Did I read the thing on? Oh, it's Eleanor. Uh, oh, that's really good. Right, but we've not been in this for very long. It's like, it's like that, but what if it wasn't really dumb? It's a little duller than the standard one. Whoa! It's like a castle. This used to be the base of operations for a rich trading family. When trouble came knocking, they were ready for it, to say the least. Wow! 
They must have had a lot of enemies. But that was a long time ago. Nowadays, it's just another town in the middle of nowhere. But even so, to us, it was the big city of our dreams. You know this area well. I grew up near here. Keep on going, and you'll run into a ball. My home village. Then... the Therian is... Yeah, somewhere in my village. Is that okay? No one will know me there. Everyone I knew, I already devoured. Yeah. I can't... I cannot pet you. No! But now. No! Our cats. I'll acknowledge all of you. <sighs> I just love the feel of the sun on my face. I'm glad the fog finally cleared up. For days it was so thick, you couldn't see past your own nose. We're lucky a demon didn't show up in all that fog. Hmm? Nisgan hasn't had much demon trouble to speak of. Well, didn't you know that? During the advent, towns all across Eastgan were attacked by demons. It was Lord Artorius who saved us. Ever since, our towns have seen almost no demon attacks. Is that true? Oh, pardon me, Lady Exorcist. But if you're with the Abbey, surely you've heard about how things are here in Eastgan. Of course, demons yes. are lurking about outside our towns. But for whatever reason, they don't attack us where we live. That sounds unbelievable. Everyone who visits us from abroad says the same thing. But this is neither joke nor lie. Everyone says that Lord Artorius's power lingers here, protecting our town against the demons. Whatever the reason, you're safe here. Relax and please enjoy yourselves. Thank you. We appreciate it. Why do demons avoid these towns? Good Lord, what is happening in there? Aurora Borealis? Uh, Aurora Borealis! At this time of year, at this time of day, in this part of the country, localized entirely within your kitchen. Yes. May I see it? No. No. Hopefully, uh, soon you'll have more things to spend those uh, Werther's Originals on. I might change Werther's Originals to Mini Boglins, as I think I may have said that before. But other than that. Okay. Verity 12. Uh, we don't have loads of gold, though. Sorry, uh, yes, although I was gonna, I was gonna make it so you, uh, there would probably only be what, uh, one game per stream. We'll see how I feel about that. Oh, huh, that's interesting. Oh, because of Verity. However, it might lead to more things to click. Hopefully. Yeah, 
все. I was also thinking, potentially, well, originally I was just going to program it in my OBS and, you know, set like a couple of ex extra, um, yeah, it's, it's what, it, <laughs> when she was wearing uh, like the pirate gear, it's like, oh, I can't stay on the screen for too much because it's, it's quite the pose, um, but it's fine, you know, it's fine when she's wearing anything else. Um, why does he get so much cool stuff on the Kuragana daggers? Okay, I'm not reading all of these. There's so much game. I think I'm supposed to just keep as one and you get loads of cool stuff, but whatever. Let's just do that one. There we go. Stupid ribbon. Moonhild is a really cool turn to have. Yeah. Uh, I was talking about... Um, uh, they've just announced that there's a new Lollipop Chainsaw game coming out, uh, and that, but it's not made by Suda51 or James Gunn. And I didn't know James Gunn worked on the original one, uh, like, because he wasn't big at that point. But it kind of, you can look at that game and go, oh yeah, I can see James Gunn in that. But I never played Lollipop Chainsaw, because that was a game I didn't want on my shelf, because it's just like, doesn't look great on a shelf to people, you know, and like you don't want to go like what's that and it, what's that you go that and you're oh god no it's, it's really good it's, you know i'm told only good things about that game but it's just it doesn't look great to anyone who doesn't know what it is uh so i just like i think i'll leave it um Like, a part of me thinks, a uh, lollipop chainsaw. It's about, it's, uh, you play as a, che a cheerleader with a chainsaw and there's zombies. And, uh, it's got, um, the voice of, um, I've forgotten her name. She's in everything, though. Uh, uh, Tara Strong. Yeah, I think her her boyfriend's hud, head gets cut off at the start, but it's magically attached to her belt and he can talk still, so presumably gets his body back at the end of the game. So it's a witty game, uh, but it is still... Just, and when I say a cheerleader, she's in a cheerleading outfit throughout the entire game. Um, Your travelers as far as I How are believe. other towns doing? Is the demon blight as bad as they say? Demons are attacking cities all the world over, and the demon blight is spreading like wildfire! It's nuts! That's terrible. Living in this town, I almost forgot about the demons. There hasn't been a case of demon blight here since the advent. Nothing much has changed over the past three years. Yeah. So what is it? Uh, I was reading a thread on it. You've been here before? Um, Many times. Really now? Wait, there is something that changed. So there's a film, uh, Suicide Squad. Um, the second Suicide Squad. hands on high quality, tasty meat. And there's a bit. are probably able to do so well because they don't have to worry about demon attacks. Well, I hope you enjoy your return to Taliesin. Have fun. A town without demons. Hmm. 
Could be there's a Therian at the Earth Pulse Point in Eastgan that's devouring the Malevolence. So I'll continue my thought. What do you second. think? That would certainly explain things. Sorry, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so um, the new Suicide Squad film, which is like a year old now, but whatever, has a section with um, Harley Quinn. And it shows her, like, fighting and killing a bunch of people. But from her perspective, it's all, like, flowers and things going on. And when she stabs a person, like, Butterfly comes out, like, because she's insane. Uh, and she's doing... It's a, it's a great sequence in that film. But it's a very James Gunny sequence, and it's like that entire sequence is sort of that lollipop James all over, and it's it's one of those things we go, oh, I see, like because um, it's a weird combination because James Gunn before he went Disney, he's known for his horror films. He's got a he 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 likes his very well. I guess he likes comedy horror, but like he had a a um, a voice, let's say. Uh, which is why I guess why it, it's it's worked. He's able to do like silly um, Disney nonsense, and people seem to like it more than the normal stuff. Good day. How are you liking Taliesin? I bet you're surprised not to see any exorcists. Yeah, I've never been to a town like this. The exorcists stationed in East Gand often leave to help deal with problems in other parts of the world. Then again, few are stationed here to begin with. Are they on another of those expeditions now? That's right. They're currently in Northgand, helping put down a group of dangerous demons. Even though they're gone, we still have regular exorcist patrols stop by. We feel safe enough with them. Maybe they should just move the capital to East Gand. Of course, I know there's no way that would happen. <laughs> that would be crazy. Why would you even suggest such a thing? Ah, oh, damn! I forgot today was the day Nico was coming. I missed out on buying that special quiche. <sighs> That's too bad. I wish she'd just open up a shop here. Cats. You think it would be easier than always having to make the long trek from a ball? I heard she doesn't want to leave the village because she's waiting for her missing friend to return. What are you talking about? A ball's nothing but a ruin. What? Well, you're a morbid young woman. Sure, the place was hit pretty bad by a demon a few years ago, but it's not like it's abandoned. Many of the villagers were hurt, but thanks to Lord Artorius, nearly all of them survived in the end. That can't be. It certainly is. In fact, there's a girl from there, Nico, who comes here once a week to sell things. Just yesterday, my husband sent medicine to the general store there and got some juicy prickle bore meat in return. That can't be right. I... With my own hand, I... Velvet? Velvet said a ball was wiped off the map, but it sounds like someone's been coming from there with things to sell. Do you think a new group of settlers moved in? Apparently that merchant Nico is someone Velvet knows. She said something about Artorias having saved the village. Do you think it had something to do with the Earth Pulse Point? I can't say. We've heard too many conflicting things. This feels wrong to me. Really, really wrong. We won't find the truth by wandering blindly in the dark. The path forward is our only way. Right. It's not like we can turn back. But Miss Mogulu, what if there's darkness ahead too? Then we'll take a nice nap together. Forever, probably. Oh. Cats. That's what I'd like to know. Cats. Right, we're retiring the stream. It's just, just gonna hang out with cats now. Hang on. Coolest person. And we have a dog. That festival over in a ball sure was fun, wasn't it? 
It sure was. What a cheerful and happy place. There's no dead people there at all. I'd love to go back sometime. I loved the prickle bore meatballs. Nico's quiche was so good. It was a master quiche. This Nico must be a great cook. I'd love to try this master quiche. <laughs> Where did you learn a joke like that? Anyway, Taliesin's Fisherman Festival is coming up soon. We've got to show the folks from Abal a good time. Yeah, I'm gonna help my uncle catch lots of tasty fish for the festival. What do you think you'll catch? Uh, pickled mackerel, tuna rolls, oh, and duck stew. <laughs> Those are all the names of dishes, silly. And a duck isn't a fish, it's a bird. I swear, you don't think of anything but food. Nico's quiche. Zombie quiche. Support! Ah, uh, you know what? The music should play, you know, the wipeout song, you know. Hang on, that's just the song from Final Fantasy VII. You get what I mean, though. That sort of thing. Can I talk to you from here? Ask me what this town's known for. What's it known for? Stairs. I hadn't asked you yet. Yeah. I've never seen this many stairs before in my life. You're close to the sea and the weather is beautiful and everything, but doesn't all this climbing make life here hard? Not at all. I walked the stairs here since I so was a not known for windmills. A little climb like this is nothing. Everyone raised here has a strong this set of legs oh, there's a cat. And a sturdy back. You couldn't turn a profit selling back medicine here. No way, no how. Okay, so for a brief second, I thought somehow a cat had been cut in half and there were like two halves of cats me out. There's just two cats standing next to each other, John. What the hell was wrong with you? Stop meowing. What do you want, cats? Wild cats aren't this meow. They meow because they hang out with humans. I don't know if they're wild cats. I just assume they are. What am I doing? We're surfing! Play a song! Ah, oh, it was brilliant. I loved it. Um, save my game. Yeah. I mean, I assume... I'm not sure what it's like, because you go to Eastern European, uh, what a, no, there are certain countries in the world that have like a bunch of wild feral cats around and all the tourists feed them and stuff, and I assume this is what this place works like. I think it's because, yeah, they get vocal when they're raised. Uh, you know, obviously other vocal kittens will make other... Being around a vocal cat will make cats vocal as well. But I'm... I'm told that they vocalise because we're constantly talking to them. Obviously not, you know, individual cats have individual personalities as well. But, um... Where I came from. Black Fetcher. Haha, <laughs> you fool, I have a support. Oh, no, I actually want to get away. You wasn't counting on a surfboard. Uh, I have like a boost, but I don't have to use it.
No, just jump off. I deserve way more points. Ah, okay, yeah, Wind Norman, Earth Norman. Uh, do you remember um, all, all the Normans? Um, oh, there's Bianfu has as well. Do I not? I don't think I want that though, because that would be more Bianfu. Um, Stop meowing! You should have recorded more meow types. Well, you know, trills and shit. Everyone loves trills. Like that YouTube kitten. Uh, um, <laughs> that's quite a, 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 an amusing um, Freudian slip there. YouTube video with the two ki kittens talking to each other. And just chills, and it's great. It's got like a billion views. And it's just like. We'll just have to go there and see for ourselves. Which way? I wonder what Velvet's hometown is like. A ball? I've heard about it from other sailors, although that was a long time ago. They said it's a fairly plain place. And it's home to rustic, hospitable folk. That sounds like any country village to me. I wonder if Velvet used to be rustic and hospitable. Oh, you mean to say she's devious and rude now? No. N not at all. It's not like the opposite. It's okay, you can admit it. It's pretty much the truth. Well, I imagine she was a plain, hardworking girl. Hmm? You really believe that? Call it a guess, really. I bet she was a cheerful, loving sister. Maybe so. Love cats. They, they, they they're all well, weird, really, really weird in the of best calamity. of ways. If she sees her former friends, maybe she'll remember some of what she's lost. But what has she lost? Say that again. Oh, we can't teleport. Okay, how does this place with no demons have the enemies this strong? Oh shit, I, I actually genuinely forgot how to play for a brief second there. This stream is called Staffordshire Terrier because it rhymes with Tales of Bazaria. I didn't put any more thought into it than that. You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm fine. Woo! Hit the baby! I like that there's orcs in this game, and they just don't mean anything. But we never really consider. Like they're wearing clothing and they're clearly smart. They're like they're, they're just mindless monsters in this. So yeah, it's just a generic monster type. No, no weird implications to the existence of orcs at all. Scary, I'm still the same with you. Chest! 
Giant earwigs, or um, they're not called earwigs in America. Um, Roly polies. Find that bird. Oh, not yet. A bunch of gold. Oops, never mind. I missed that. Uh, let me up there. Got away. Are we ready for this? Are we ready for these birds? Yeah, we can take the Sorry bed. to cut you down. Where did we come from? Oh, it must have been up north. I'm curious as to why the map is... Hey, do you know why Velvet was sent to that prison island in the first place? It had to be... to funnel the other prisoners and malevolence to Anominot, right? There's an Earth Pulse point near a ball, right? Wouldn't it have been easier just to leave her there? There's already Lack somebody food, there. Probably. Oh, is it going to be a mother? Entire village. It's going to be somebody related to Velvet. True. Who can say? Let's ask Eisen's coin. You know it doesn't work like that. <laughs> All right, let's think. Why else would Artorius move Velvet to the island? If she was the first Therian he captured... That she... <gasps> he needed a guinea pig to test out what was written in the ancient book. Precisely. He made a special cage for her in the island prison, where Earth Pulse Point and Malevolence met. Okay. Then he used Velvet to test how Therians work. Huh. I could see him doing that. But turning his own family into an experiment. I'm just offering a theory. But a man willing to sacrifice his brother's life wouldn't likely show mercy to his sister either. How could he be capable of such things? Perhaps that's just how badly he wants to save this world. Or perhaps there's no other way it could be saved. Huh? Yeah. Do you think there'll be ruins at this Earth Pulse Point, too? If you're expecting something like the undersea or underground temples we saw before, you might be setting yourself up for a disappointment. Have you been there before? No. But if there's any such kind of grand structure here, it wasn't recorded in the Abbey's archives. Eastgand has long been a frontier, and civilization here was never really developed. Plus, the land to the east is said to be unstable, making mm. it hard to build anything too large there. Even if a temple had been built there, the shifting earth would likely have swallowed it without a trace. The worship of Inominat may be widespread now, but just a few years ago, Empyrean faith was all but dead. Right. 
Still, if you actually searched for the ruins, I bet you could come up with something incredible. We've seen underwater and underground temples, so why not a temple in the sky? A temple in the sky? It's a romantic thought, and the ancients were certainly advanced, but... Flying temples are a bit far-fetched, eh? <laughs> Hey, that's the beauty of magic. Anything could happen. A flying temple, a beautiful woman being sawed in half. The border between dream and reality is as fine as a frog's hair. Maybe you just spend too much time daydreaming. Maybe. I mean, Magaloo, it's not that difficult to saw a beautiful lady in half. It's putting her back together again, which is the hard part. But, um, I still don't have enough to that cat box either. This colorful skunk? I don't want to fight a skunk. You do have a chance, you have to believe in yourself! Okay, it just immediately put us at one health. Uh... Yeah, okay, run away, run away, run away, run away. Is it a honey badger? I, we should have left it alone. Yeah, yeah, um, that's a, that's a don't bother creature. Oh, we've not been here. Oh, it's called Morgana Woods. You know, the witch, Morgana. Um, I don't think we have a ah, these are Cyclopses with his head because they're extra cool. Zoom for you. You can have a chest instead. I can jump when I'm using the surfboard. Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me, Brad, have you hidden any? John, that's literally the point that you could have jumped from before. I'm going to be serving very soon. Because of work tomorrow. I mean, I literally just say, it, but you know what I mean. Ending the stream is, I guess, what I actually meant to say there. But, um, run faster. Excuse me, Cyclops. I should be probably fighting some of these creatures.
So, because we're playing, the music's gone all fluffy, because we're wearing costumes from one of the old games. That's what I thought. Mm. Oh, there is a chest. Okay, to the next room. What would we find? What more? We'll find more of the stuff. My bad. Hold done. Angry Bird, I hope they made a game about you. Um, there is bound to be a large conversation in set piece when we get to the village. So I'm going to leave it here. So it's been two short episodes in a row, but like the next time I'll, it's going to, we're approaching weekend, although I might be, might be away Saturday. We'll see. Um, yeah, we'll get a lot, lots done, but I'm going to, I'm going to disappear now. I'm going to say thank you very much for watching I've been the John Strapped I've been having the Tales of Bizaria Staffordshire Terrier Adventure thank you very much for watching or Staffy for sure uh, I think I did say